DJI store here in Zhongshan. It's the only one in Zhongshan. My Christmas present to myself is this. I am so excited. I've been waiting for weeks. This is going to be a game changer for my vlogs because this thing is about the size of a Snickers bar and it's a three axle gimbal with a 4K camera on top. It's costing me about 2,500 RMB for this and it's plus the SD cards about another 200 RMB. So this is going to be so awesome. Thank you, sir. Ah, shish, yeah. All right. So, Merry Christmas to Paul. All right, so although I don't work for Metzen anymore, um, I still maintain a very strong relationship with them because, you know, they're my friends. They're, they're like my family here. And they're about to open a new office here in Dongshan. And it's under construction right now, and I have been invited to go check it out. So, in a few months, this will open, and you'll get a chance to see it, because I've been invited to the grand opening after Spring Festival, and it should be uh, quite an event. under construction right now open in a couple of months this is gonna be really great it's two stories so this is gonna be the new club area here and then over here we've got a movie theater that they're building and then back over here they still haven't put the floors in but this is gonna be like a, a kitchen canteen area for the staff And then over here is just a wall of VIP rooms that overlook the city. This place is huge. Got some very large classrooms. And then over there is the, for the children, right? Yeah. Private. I'll come back and show progress again, but this is my first time uh, seeing it under construction. Now they're about, mm, I'd say about 20 to 25% complete. And it looks uh, looks very exciting. I'll continue to update you more. So it's the end of Saturday, and I have to get up to Shaolin for the night because I've been invited to a party. It's the three-year anniversary of Met in Shaolin. It's the center that I opened three years ago when I first came to Shaolin. I was the very first foreign teacher there, and they've invited me to come to the party. Should be a good time. I'm gonna stay the night and party away with some old friends. Now, because I don't have a car and I don't have an e-bike anymore, I am taking the bus, so I had to split it up. So it's 45 minutes to get to downtown Zhongshan and uh, stay the night last night, work today, and then tonight headed up to Shaolin, about another hour and 15 minutes, uh, check into a hotel, then about another 20 minutes to the party, and then I stay the night, come back tomorrow. I can't complain because this is what I used to do when I first got here, you know, just took the bus everywhere and it worked out fine. Check it out, they still have my picture up. And it's a terrible picture because, hello, hello she, <laughs> it's a terrible picture because look what they did to my eyebrows. They drew in my eyebrows. I look like a clown. Grace is my friend. She just came back from Sweden from six months. Norway. Norway? Oh, wow. Norway. All right. She just came back from Norway. Six months. You just got back from Switzerland? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is Alex. Alex is one of my first students at Menton in China. <laughs>
It can catch you. That one's cheap. This one was not cheap. This one was massive. I'm gonna send it to my buddy Donald Trump, Trump right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hello, you are the greatest person that you got the guy ever created. <laughs> so after the party, we all come to the barbecue on the street to eat. Yeah. Oh, he's not perfect. Good. So now we're finishing it up at Brampton's, which is the local chalet bar that I used to go to. So cheers, and we'll call it a night after this.